Hi, and welcome to History with a Twist. All right, so last month we were visiting Suicide Bridge, Pasadena, California. Today we're actually going to head to Altadena, California, specifically on Lake Avenue, which if you know the location, Lake Avenue is connected to Altadena and Pasadena. So that's why I'm like, we're kind of staying in Pasadena area. Not really though, but we are visiting Cobb's Estate. So if you're not familiar with Cobb Estate, it's totally fine. I think it's more of a local spot. It's one of the main entrances to Echo Mountain, which Echo Mountain is part of San Gabriel Valley as well as the Angeles National Forest. Um, it opens up to multiple hiking trails and it's one of the popular locations for locals. We don't usually call it Cobb Estate though. We usually call it the Haunted Forest. So before I tell you more about the Haunted Forest, Let's go back in time to the early 1900s, specifically 1918. So in the year 1918, Charles and Carrie Copps built their mansion in the 107 acre land. Afterwards, the Masons owned the property and bless their hearts, they actually converted it into a retreat for the Sisters of St. Joseph's. And then afterwards, it was the Marx Brothers, which that's when the rumors started about paranormal events. It was the neighbors that were actually reporting of the paranormal events. Some said they heard some odd sounds as well as some figures and saw people home even though the Marx Brothers weren't home. Sadly, the Marx Brothers tore down the house in 1959 and the land was abandoned until 1971. Originally, there was a plan that was proposed to turn the land into a cemetery. Clearly, the neighborhood was not impressed and not happy about that. So they fought it off and even included the city for them to win. And surprisingly, there was a private donation for the city to buy it. And the city bought it and now is this wonderful hiking trail that we all know. So back to the Haunted Forest name. So I think I have just heard about the name, but I don't really know what's the cause of it to be haunted. I genuinely think it's haunted because based on what humans has been doing there, like what they've been bringing the bad energy and all that I don't think specifically it's because like um, you know how other spirit or paranormal stories it's based on the land and what has happened in the history I think this paranormal events is actually caused based on people bringing that into that land because from my research Yes, there is some stories, some sad stories, but there's not really something that's so aggressive to cause it to have a paranormal activity, you know what I mean? Like, um, I think the worst story I heard was a lady that got killed in a tent, but that was just recently. That was like a few years ago. So personally, I don't think it's caused based on the past. I think it's caused based on what people are bringing in at the moment. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think the location is actually haunted or it's just based on what people are doing as well? Do you even know the location? Have you heard of the Haunted Forest or a Cobb Estate in Pasadena? I'm curious if it's just a local thing or people outside the city knows about this location. Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, thank you so much for joining. Have a great night and I'll see you soon.